Look at that, we even got little cross swords on the battlefield. Absolutely brilliant. Right, uh, let's see, what's that army made of? Three spearmen. Uh, one dude there, that's fine. Well, I'm going to move my army to the village, that little coastal town village. So, look at that cross swords. Yeah! Orod the Ref of Gondor defeated Captain Sufyan of the Harad. In the year 2993rd age. Fantastic. Right, so we know there's nothing around here to worry about. Just the town. Which has one unit of spearmen in it. Right, let's move my guy along this path a bit. Oh look, there's a Harad village. Hasyab. Hasyab. And there's a force on its way there. So if we can quickly move down and take the Harajum town of Bard Hearn. We'll have a foothold. Might be able to defend ourselves against Captain Harith. I'm so happy we won that. <laughs> hey, look! I was getting this under attack. We must make a stand. We are besieged. As expected, to be honest. So, I just hope we can defend it in time, or defend it in as well as we have done there. Your orders. Okay, so have I spoken to these guys? I have not. Barely accepted trade with Isengard. Eh, trade is trade. So. Awesome. An order. Right, so we have one general against two spearmen. So if I. I'm going to have to merge some of these troops, I think. But uh, if I put... Oh, I might just recruit to another another unit there. Maybe... An order. Put an archer will, unit. My lord. My lord. Will, my lord. And that cavalry unit in there as well. By your command, Send yes. the rest of my troops across the river. Yes. We go no further today. Mercenary transport ship. Ah, that army's going to get there before we will. My lord. I mean, there's no other forces on the way. So, we'll see where that army gets to. Yeah, but that army's going to get there before we can get there. Damn, that's a pain. Well, okay, let's take let's see what happens if I take My lord. These two troops. Everybody's still happy. So just give them a few, and you know, fresh, fresh troops, fresh reinforcements. Um, okay. So he was heading to Pelagir. Right. Start recruiting some more troops. Maybe we'll build a separate army to head to uh, to that town. Ah, damn it. There we go. So we've got Orc Raiders, some Moran and Guard, a few more caller, uh, hall, uh, Orc Maulers, <laughs> a couple of Scouts. The Ologai is the one that's going to be the pain in the ass, but we managed to get, or I managed to get my Fountain Guard into East Osgiliath in time. Combine that with my Athelian Rangers, we've got some good archers and some good spearmen taking on the Ologai. Plus, plus we got plus plus we have the rest of our army We're made up of militia and archers. They can take care of the orcs quite easily. The archers can definitely do the job, as we've seen in the past. So, defending East Osgiliath is definitely a possibility. There does not appear to be any other Mordor forces on the way. Uh, it doesn't appear to be any Mordor forces on the way. Orders. Um, uh, I need. I think I need a couple of hundred to build a tower, don't I? Watchtower. So let's cancel that recruitment and just build one up here. My lord. So I just realised we can't actually see what the dead marshes look like. A watchtower. Shagul yes, with yes. some light orcs are on his, is on his yes. way. There is a Mordor village there, but we'll think we'll think about that place later on. Okay, so Lin here will be defended. That's no problem. We've reinforced our army here. Um, 
So yeah, ideally I would put a second spy around here, so I could have one spy here focusing on this area, put another spy sort of down this end, or maybe put this spy here or something, because there's, a, I believe it's, I saw like a crossing ability there. So, I could have a spy over here, keeping an eye on that, a spy over here, keeping an eye on the village and that area. That village has only got two people in it. Seeing as I can't block right. the crossing here, I can only block the crossing there. Uh, I might utilize my fleet and send them sort of this way. Maybe put a sh send a ship over to here and send a ship over along to these two cities just to have a look around. We'll keep them combined for the time being until we get to probably around this point here and then we'll split them up just to have a look. Um, I'm just thrilled we won that battle to be honest. That's all I'm, that's all I'm thinking about is the, the fact we just won that battle. So we don't really have any garrisons over here. Everything's pretty much standard. What happens if I take this troop out? Everybody's still happy, so let's disband them. Uh, okay. How is the paved roads doing at Minas Tirith? One more turn. Oh no, two more turns, damn it. Okay, so... Um, let's end the turn. I'm expecting Mordor will attack me in this turn. Well, they're going to attack my cap, my general there. I didn't, wasn't not. Ex I was expecting it to happen, maybe, but I didn't know how far my general could, how far they could reach me. Oh no, my general died. I thought maybe he'd get bad, he'd just lose most of his men and then retreat, but no, he got slaughtered. Oops. Okay, Mordor didn't attack me then. Interesting. That was a bit of a bitch. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I was expecting him to get, you know, how, you know what normally happens whenever your general's on his own and he gets attacked, you auto resolve, and he'll lose two thirds of his uh, bodyguard and then he'll retreat back. But apparently the game did not want to do that for me this time. Well, that's a little bit of a dick move. Okay. I see how it'll be. Settlement besieged of Eminanen. Prisoners executed. Oh, that's why, because they executed them. Alright, let's move the fleet. This way. Army is there. 46%. Damn it, that's quite low. What's this army made of? Cavalry, some archers. One catapult, one, two archers, uh, two archers, two cavalry. Two Southron Warband and one unit we can't see. Yes. As you command. Yes. Moving to Let's besiege it anyway. Besieging the coward, my lord. They're not going anywhere. I'm gonna stick you. To war. Two Orc Raiders. Yeah, we can take care of this. Get rid of these Orc Raiders. Lift the siege on Eminanen. On Eminanen. Units await my orders. Okay. Start the battle. Well, they don't have any archer units, so I don't have to worry about making putting my archers into a loose formation. <coughs> and also, they're just orc raiders, so it's not too bad. Everybody ready? Good. All right. They buggered off down here. Wasn't that fantastic? Fast forward. Wait for my troops to get into position. The only reason I'm fighting this one is because I, 
I've just ma I've basically managed to find myself like um sort of 45 minutes maybe an hour of time that I can do some recording so I haven't I don't know if I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to fight that big Mordor battle that might have to be in the next bo in the next couple of episodes so Get some vo a couple of volleys off here against these orcs. Might get a third one off in against them actually. Start shooting at you, the guys at the back. Wait for it. We're under attack. And charge. Charge. Yeah, woohoo. much in our favor victory will be ours let's bring this archer in around leave that archer unit to keep shooting but bring cavalry up here a bit let's charge in Crash, 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 crash. There goes the captain. Woohoo! <laughs> I just saw we took out a banner carrier there. Let's pull back. Let my cavalry do the rest of the work. Cavalry can go for one unit. My ar these archers can shoot the other. Looks like I accidentally shot one of my cavalry units. <laughs> ah well. Look at that. Now my cavalry is clear. We'll get my archers to shoot the last of those guys there. How many of them are there? 14. 13. 9. <laughs> Five. Fourteen, thirteen, nine, five, because <laughs> that's how numbers count down. <laughs> so we're down to three now. Then I'll just do one more volley. Time for my cavalry to take care of the last three because apparently my archers are too bad at shooting three men. So three orcs. They're not men, they're orcs. Slice those two. There's one guy left. And dead. Beautiful. Our foe is utterly Lovely. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory 45 for 503 that suits me just fine so what I'll do is I'll ransom the prisoners we've got if Mordor accepts that gives us a little bit of extra cash that we can then use to replenish our militia force or anything 431 eh, ransom, ah rejected again At least I can retrain them though, that's fine. I can also afford a bowyer, which is good. Um, 
Is there anything I should buy elsewhere though? Because I'm thinking I'm going to need those dirt roads that were in Penneth Gellin. That's my thought. How much are those paved roads? Those dirt roads? I can't remember. I'm just checking all these other places first on my way over. Calumbell, Eresh, Dolamroth, Londgallen, Pineth Gellin. Oh, these guys can also do with them as well. Anu Lond. Well, we'll go Pineth Gellin first. That's 1500. Jeez. Um, and we'll recruit a sword unit there. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Only a matter of time until the slaughter begins. Yes, my lord. Without question. Let's move my diplomat yes. there. Set him. Tell him. Just tell him to go that way. Doesn't necessarily mean there's something around there. I'm just sending him that way just to you know, see if there's anyone to talk to. I, don't th I think we've talk spoken to everyone now, really. I may want to send a sword unit to West Osgiliath just in case because if <coughs> excuse me if I lose the battle of East Osgiliath which will be an absolute pain in the ass if I do um, I need to try and defend West Osgiliath if I can end the turn And as expected, they are attacking me. 3,027 orcs against 1,812 of mine. My guy is almost is two stars away from being full command. Look, so we got orc raiders. We got one, one, two, three, four, five, six orc raiders. One orc mauler. One Moranan guard. One, two, three, four. Orca archers, two Uruks, and one Ologai, full Ologai unit as well, and that's where their general is. Right, so my militia and my archers could take care of those Orc raiders and Orc archers, no problem. Guard, not that big of a deal. The Orc maulers, I'm not too sure about. It's been a while since I've fought them, but they're quite, they're just as weak as, um, in fact, they're weaker than the Guard. so the Orc maulers will be no problem. Guard will be a little bit more difficult. The or well, they'll be a little tougher, but not too much. The Uruks are going to be a pain. I'll need to flank those guys somehow, and we also will also need to surround the Ologai if we have any chance of beating them. Um, so yeah, not looking forward to that one. Very much not looking forward to that one. But as I said a few about ten minutes ago, I only have enough time to. I only had like a small window of opportunity to do some recording for you guys for third age today. So I'm having to leave it here on this epic cliffhanger where we're going to be fighting for East Osgiliath yet again. Uh, this is going to be the biggest battle we've fought so far. Uh, this is what, episode 13, 14, somewhere around there. I've, well, yeah, probably probably going to all be in incorporated into episode 13, I would imagine. Um... But yeah, so it's going to be one of the toughest battles we're going to fight. But if we win it, um, what are we going to do if we win it? Probably try and consolidate our forces on this side of the bank. I'm probably I'm I'm having a think about it, and I'm not sure about going for Minas Morgul again, um, unless I sent a full army. So if I took this army and put them in Minas Morgul, if it's relatively still intact, the the army, I mean. Then I um, then I might do that and try and build a secondary army in East Osgiliath, or maybe move my forces from West Osgiliath to East Osgiliath, and then replenish the garrison of West Osgiliath with a couple of troops. Um, that's one possibility. Not too sure if I'm going to go through with that or not. I might try and use the forces I have to 
confirm my presence, if you will, along this bank here. So Tier Ethraid is a good target. There's a Rebel Province somewhere around here that we need to find with our spies. We've got our forces attacking Barad Han. If that army comes in to help reinforce it, I'm pretty confident we could probably beat that considering we won that battle across the river. I'm sure we could win this one as well. Uh, and then we've also got the little uh, Harad village here, which we can take quite easily. So, other than being besieged at East Osgiliath, this is looking relatively promising. Not 100% promising, but you know, it looks like it's on its way to being a promising campaign. Um, it's going to take some time to build up my economy. My economy is still slowly getting through the troubles. Uh, so we need to improve on that, but the paved roads should be done by now with um, Minas Tirith, so that'll bring us some income. We've got the dirt roads being built, that'll bring us some income. We'll get the dirt roads at Anulond as well to finish off all the roads I have in my province, or in my faction, to have at least dirt roads. I think it's just the Dru Dru Dunedain village that hasn't got them, and Henethanun looks like it doesn't have any dirt roads. Um... So yeah, and also farmland. We need to improve our farmland, but we need to get our economy going before we can afford to build up on farmland. So there's a lot of money to be spent, um, a lot of battles to be had, but like I said, at this moment in time, the campaign is looking rather promising. So fingers crossed it's going to stay that way, and fingers crossed we can make um, some kind of big breakthrough in the battle uh, in the wars with either Mordor or Harad. I'm hoping to make the biggest breakthrough with Harad. We take care of Harad. That is one powerful enemy taken out of the way. And then I can focus everything in the north on Mordor. Um, because if I go for Mordor first, there is a lot of small... There is a lot of Orc encampments plus Baradur, the Black Gate. All inside Mordor itself, inside those mountains, behind those mountain ranges there. Uh, if I move the camera here. So you've got the Black Gate there, you've got an Orc encampment there, I believe there's another one in this little enclave there. You've got that Orc encampment there, there's another one somewhere down here, and another one up here. You've then got Baradur as well, and also Minas Morgul, so in order to take all of this, I'm gonna have to, I would have to basically focus my entire military efforts against Mordor. Um, which is going to be very very difficult if I'm also fighting Harad. So Harad is a lot more spaced out, a bit more time consuming in that way, but it gives me a bit of that that gives me that time that I can use to replenish my forces and keep the the keep the uh, advance going. But um what am I might do? I've just had a thought. What am I might do is bring my diplomat over to my territory once again and see if I can breach a ceasefire with one of them. He's Excuse me, my diplomat has been all around the map now. So he's spoken to every faction. He's managed to get at least trade rights with all of them. So he's developed quite a good amount of diplomatic skill. If I can bring him over to our faction territory, then um, then there's a small possibility I might be able to... Uh, might be able to breach uh, or make yeah you know, breach a ceasefire with one of them. If I'm going to do that, I might do Harad over Mordor. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to think about that. If you if I do that, let me know which faction you want me to try and break um, try and get a ceasefire with. Um, I'm thinking Harad. I know I just said that if I was to take out one of the enemies, I'd focus on Harad first, but I'm wondering if maybe I need to get rid of Mordor first because they have Ologai and I freaking hate Ologai. And the Muma kill won't come in for Harad until very later on in the game. So um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll see what. I'll, I'll listen to your opinions. Put in the comments below which faction you think I should try and breach a ceasefire with first and keep a war going on with the other. Um. If it's going to be with Harad, I will probably approach them with ceasefire, but also t if I take their little village, I breach a ceasefire with them and offer them the little village back in return, maybe with a little bit of money as well, they might accept a ceasefire, considering they've just lost like a number of major battles with larger forces than I did. Anyway, anyway, I'm wittering on. That's the outline of my plan. Let me uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any suggestions, if you have any uh, tips or any 
pot or any thoughts on strategy or tactics on how to approach this then let me know and um, I will listen to them I'll read them in the comments I will take so I'll see if I can take any of those and use them and um, I think that's about it for today guys so thank you very much for watching this episode of Third Age Total War Gondor and I will see you as always in the next episode